you know, the Lord spoke to me wow. many, many years ago and said, cars can run on fresh air. And I said, cars can run on fresh air? And he said, yeah. And then soon after that, I found articles showing it. One from Oxford University, where a group of students, I've even got the diagram on my computer here, had found a way to allow air to go through and it would extract the water from the air and it would provide the energy to drive the car. That's crazy. Now, they wrote this article, like, um, maybe 10, 12 years ago. And in the article, they said, within five years, we predict we'll be driving these cars. You look it up. It's on Google. Mm -hmm. But you look again, there's no progress of it. Now they're saying, let's use electric. But again, electric is the grid. It's control. You can charge people for it. You can't charge for fresh air. Right. See, we need to move to an economic system that's not that's slavery. That's what I was going to ask you. Mm. Like, yeah. Because it's the economic system that's holding yeah. back all these restrictions. That you have. And we have to move to a new economic system. And that, that this means major recalibration right now across the earth. So when we're talking about life coming upon the earth, again, it's a holistic thing. It's going to mean the judgment of systems of death. Right now, economics, banking, slavery, food, mm -hmm. the food industry, which is toxic. Yeah. And, you know, sugar. Pharmaceutical. All these, yeah. All of these, like, it says God has already given us all that we need for life and godliness. Wow. Right? So contained within earth is all the technology we need for hmm. life and immortality. Hmm. 